So was there anything, I know I, I showed you my list of questions right before we got on camera. Mm -hmm. Was there something that you really wanted to talk about or touch on in the realm of nutrition, training, racing? I'd say ultimately eat early and eat often while you're on the bike. Um, make the most of your rides and your workouts by, you know, working backwards from whatever your goal is and tailoring, you know, specific, uh, tailoring, tailoring your rides for those specific efforts. Um, and ultimately, one of the biggest focuses you should have is, is what you're eating immediately after you're riding so that, you're, so that you can put in a hard workout tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, because it's easy to, when you finish a ride, be like, oh, wow, I did a great job, and now I'm just going to relax. But, you know, you got to be thinking about how your legs are going to be feeling tomorrow, especially during those first 20 minutes of your warm-up being like, you know, you got you got to kind of put your head in that place and be like, what is it going to take for me to be, you know, be able to go hard tomorrow um, and just be consistent with it day in and day out. And uh, I, there's no formula that's going to give you incredible results very fast. It just right. takes, you know, you know, just chipping away day in and day out and slowly but surely over the course of time, you're just going to get a little bit faster here yeah. and there. Um, and, and that's what it's going to take. Just yeah. ride your bike as much as you can and, and focus on, focus on the details and, uh, and those efforts will end up paying off and race as much as you can because yeah. ultimately cycling is, uh, I'd say 50% physical and 50% mental as far as when you're out racing. Um, it doesn't matter who has the strongest legs as long as you're fairly, you know, close to whoever has the strongest legs, you can still beat them with your head. Right. So, um, you know, become a student of cycling, watch as many, watch as many races as you can. Um, try to put yourself in the shoes of the riders who are out there making, you know, game time decisions as they're coming into the last few K of a race. And, uh, when you're out doing training races or group rides, um, always be thinking about, you know, where you are, where other riders are, how strong those other riders are. And then, you know, where people are on the road, um, and you know, where you should be to increase your chances of crossing that line first. Mm. Cause ultimately that's, you, you don't have to do it the hardest way possible. Right. Try to make it easy on yourself. Right. You can, you can, uh, you can, you can be the strongest and still lose, but you have to race smart. Yeah. It takes, it takes strength, but it also takes smarts. That's yeah. And I think that's kind of the beauty of cycling is, uh, when my friend says it is, it's kind of a combination of running and chess where mm. you have the endurance part of running where it's just, you know, strictly endurance base. And then you have the, just the mental strategy of chess and how you're going to position, yourself or your teammates and everyone else in the race in order to increase your odds of crossing that finish line first. Um, that, that's the beauty of cycling is mm. 